Okay, Pisces, a couple things. First of all, on February 26th, we had a solar Pisces eclipse, a solar eclipse in Pisces. Eclipses eclipse things out of our life and eclipse things into our life. Now, this was especially important, especially important because it was in the sign of Pisces in your house, in your sign, okay? So that means that it was emotional. And it also means that it's the ending because Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. This is sitting right on the cusp of Venus going retrograde all through March. And March 21st is the spring equinox. So we are literally ending, be ending things before we have a new beginning. Now this is e additionally messed up because it was in Pisces, which is emotional. You probably had crazy dreams. Weird stuff has, has been happening, like people you haven't talked to in eight years, literally haven't talked to, come back and say they want to marry you or they want to get back together and you haven't even talked to them, okay? Or they get mad that you didn't love them and it's like, I haven't seen you in 12 years. What are you even talking about, okay? I have a friend who hadn't talked to somebody for two years, only went on three dates with him, only went on three dates with him. Two years ago, no communication since. And he sends her this text saying she's a horrible person because she never loved him and then incessantly called her like 12 or 13 times at around midnight, 11 o'clock at night. So weird stuff like that, okay? Anyway, nothing has to happen to everybody, but there's more of that happening lately, okay? And the reason is, the eclipse happened in Pisces, so there's, these, there's this finality, there's this ending. And then it, uh, right afterwards, Venus goes retrograde. And what happens with, when Venus goes retrograde? It brings things back. It switches the polarity of, the, uh, of where you thought you were emotionally with respect to love. It switches. So people in, in general, during Venus retrogrades, people tend to like reconnect with their exes or there's communication with exes. But it's more strong and forceful this time because there are the f eclipse made it final. But you're like, wait, I'm not done yet. Okay, I don't want this to be it. I'm gonna do everything I can. So just be kind of aware of that. And luckily, okay, Venus is gonna be retrograde, and then we're gonna enter April, end of March, which is Aries. So it's new beginnings all around. Okay, new beginnings all around. Aries is the, March 21st is actually the beginning of the astrological calendar. So it's like, this is a huge celebration. It's like spring is here. Okay. And if you know Aries, um, always very youthful people. They're the, they like new beginnings. They like fresh starts. They like uh, excited, you know, they're always about newness because they're the babies of the Zodiac. So they're always like the first thing. Okay. Most excitement. All right. A lot of Aries people tend to look young, always have kind of like a little baby face, you know? So anyway, anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about your reading. So if weird stuff has been happening, it greatly, greatly impacted you, Pisces, because all of this was happening in your sign, okay? Major changes too with this Pisces, with this eclipse. So you may be moving, you may be having big career changes, big love changes, okay? Big steps with this endings and these beginnings, okay? So high level, let's look at your story. Very much, very possible there's a move or a promotion or a relocation or a new opportunity with work. You're happy about it. You, there has been love. There is love possibly, but whatever is in the past is definitely in the past. And you're not sure, you're not sure how you feel about it. Hmm. Okay. High level, that was it. So in your past, you have the lover's card. So you either in the past, coming from February, you have had love, you've been in love, you are in love, okay? Or since this is traditionally like the second half of February till now as we enter March, this could be the, a major focus of yours specifically related to the eclipse and Venus getting ready to go retrograde, okay? Maybe somebody from the past was on your mind, but maybe there's just, you know, you're in love, okay? You're feeling very connected to somebody, all right? So if that is you, congratulations. 
Not seeing much on the love front moving forward towards March though, so I'm not sure. It doesn't necessarily show that anything happened. It doesn't necessarily show that anything is going to happen. It just shows that it was there. So th that's why I'm saying that it may have just been on your mind, okay? But I don't know. I don't know. The reason why I talked about a potential move or promotion or career adjustment is because we have in your primary situation for March, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And this traditionally means new beginnings, new jobs, new promotions, okay? Stepping up to a new phase with respect to work or with respect to material gains, okay? Obviously the stock market's been going crazy. Bitcoins are going crazy. So you may just be stepping up a level with in terms of your finances, um, but you're very content about where you are because it's being crossed by the king of this work, this new beginning in work is being crossed by the king of pens, the king of cups. And this is definitely you. Okay. Content, emotionally secure, but, but alone. Okay. I'm just getting this weird sense, Pisces, that it's like you, you want to be in love, but you're not, or you were, but they weren't. I don't know. Leave your comments below because I'm a little curious about that one. What's grounding you is the Page of Swords. So this is, it can indicate that you or someone's been watching you and analyzing you, but it's reversed, so that's not the case. Uh, it means lack of clarity for sure because it's reversed and it's a page. Pages are always a younger energy. They're searching for clarity. It's reversed. So you're not searching for clarity. You know, maybe you need to be, but you aren't. But it's okay because I'm getting the sense you're really just focusing on yourself and your work right now, which is so odd because we come from the lover's card. Okay, I'm confused about this. So let me just keep going and we'll wait, we'll wait and see. But this is showing that there's not really a lack of clarity. Maybe you're moving and you're not sure if you want to. Uh, then we have the Six of Cups reversed again. Okay. Old love not coming back. Okay. So that would focus. The Six of Cups traditionally means nostalgia. And it means, you know, the, the youthful bringing back of old energy, old loves, old flames, and it's, it's reversed. So no, maybe you're wanting it to, maybe they're wanting it to, it's just, but it's not going to happen. That's at least not in March. That's your crowning, that's crowning your March uh, combined with this lack of clarity and this new beginning with respect to work. This could be a new beginning that with somebody that's an earth sign though too. Okay. Well, I'm trying to keep this love focused. That's what I need to do here. This could be, if it's not work related. Okay. Uh, this could be a new beginning with somebody who is an earth sign. Now in your future, Pisces, we have the queen of pentacles and she's reversed. She's been reversed for a lot of people. And, and between each reading, I shuffle and move the cards around. Now the queen of pentacles is reversed means that there's material safe security, but there's no generosity. Okay. There's not the queen of pentacles is the most generous because she's reached levels in her material life that she is able to be generous up with her time and with her material assets. And she's not, when she's reversed, she's not. So maybe you're saving to, for the move. Okay. Maybe you're not focusing on love because you've got this big change coming up. Okay. But you're excited about it because you have the nine of cups in the, position that represents how you feel about the situation. And the nine of cups is the wish fulfillment card. Okay. So even if you are in a new relationship, you're happy. Even if it's an older relationship, you know, that's from, you know, a couple or like you just got into a relationship, you're happy. Even if you're in a long-term committed bond with somebody, you're happy. Okay. There's just this retreating a little bit and this lack of clarity. And the reason why I keep saying lack of clarity, because it's not only has to do with this card, it has to do with the high priestess. Okay. You're not in tune and Pisces, you're the most intuitive sign that there is. And you're just not feeling it right now. 
Maybe because you're focusing on new beginnings. Now, how your partner or people around you are feeling about you or your, your love life is the Four of Wands reversed. And this means that they're not feeling like there's a celebration to be had. So it's just odd because you would think if you are, got a promotion or a new job, okay, that you're so happy about, you would think that other people would want to celebrate with you, okay? If you have a new love in your life, okay, that you feel happy about, that makes you feel emotionally content, you would think people would want to celebrate with you. You do. So this is just odd, an odd combination. And, with, and we have in your hopes and fear position, we have the justice card. So maybe this person is somebody that is a, loy a lawyer, okay? Or a somebody in the legal realm, possibly a Libra, I guess you could say. But this is your hopes and fears. So I'm not seeing any commitment or marriage related cards here we'll see what comes out next but you know hoping and fearing that your potential love situation could be something where there's going to be contracts signed okay hoping and fearing all right now what's you're not feeling so hot about it at least not right now I don't know if something happened or if you're just not sure yet okay but we have the high priestess reversed and she means when it's reversed, she's not in con in. It's like there's this, the conduit for feeling whole with your soul is like crinkled or broken. There's like a missing link there. Um, Cause you're not in tune with yourself. You're not in tune with your higher self. There's just something that's a little off. Okay. So I'm hoping, Pisces, that that changes. Let me just keep looking at this to see if there's anything King of Swords reversed. There may very well be an Earth sign in your midst, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There may also be a Water sign in your midst, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, we don't know if this is you, okay, or if this is another person. There may be multiple people in your life right now, okay? Page of Cups, both are probably younger than you because pages represent a younger person. And I like the Page of Pentacles because they're so slow in their offerings. Okay, they're not sure. And I love the depiction on this card specifically because Earth signs are the most work oriented of the Zodiac. Okay, they're the workhorses. They just work, 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 work. They build career status, usually at a young age, high level career status, because they just focus on work. Okay. There's not a lot of emotion. It takes a long time to pull emotions out of them, which is different than you Pisces who are emotion all, all the time. Like, you know how you feel and you know, you might not communicate it, but you're in tune with your emotions or signs. Not so much. And in fact, they're maybe a little afraid of their emotions. So I like this. The whole reason why I'm saying that is I like this depiction because it's like he's he or she's testing the emotions. Offering and testing. Offering and testing. Not testing you, but testing how they feel about you. Okay? So they're slower. Earth signs move slowly. They can get into relationships, okay? Sex can happen quickly, okay? They can be around quickly. But in terms of really developing real feelings, solid feelings, that takes a long time, okay? Water signs, on the other hand, they can literally dive right in. And they're intuitive, so they can feel in love very quickly. They can feel that you are supposed to be with them very quickly. Now, the King of Swords is an air sign. You have a few swords in your reading. Uh, so this could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And swords are like, like earth signs. They're not very emotional and they do like to keep to themselves and they're very cognitive. They can be extremely social and they can talk about anything under the sun because they know a lot, okay? They, they're ruled by their brain. You are ruled by your emotions. Capricorn or earth signs are ruled by material things, building, 
okay, tangible things. Fire signs are ruled by action. So this is reversed. So there could be somebody in your midst that is an earth sign, air sign that's gone, okay? Or they're um, taking a break and they're not in tune with you right now, okay? The fact that this is a king is somebody older or close to your age, okay? And they are, uh, they're not on the same page with you right now or wavelength, okay? It's reversed, okay? So probably stoic, probably shut down. They don't talk. When, when air signs get hurt or they need space, they don't really communicate that. They just go and sort things out in their mind and then they can just come back and act like nothing happened. And you're sitting there like, I haven't talked to you in three weeks and you've been ignoring me.